How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to prepare for the all-star event and brand new rank seasons that's about to take place on July 26th. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now you might think to yourself this July 26th date doesn't really make that much of a difference but in fact it makes a significant impact to the current program and will affect the price of almost every card on the marketplace. I'm going to break down the cause and effect as to what could happen, as to what I think will happen, and as to what I am doing personally in order to prepare for this. I am not perfect. I don't know everything. I have made mistakes before, but I am a teacher and I try my best to try and prepare my students to think critically and logically with reason in order to make decisions for themselves. Uh, because I really think that that is the number one tool we need in life in order to be successful. A lot of times we're kind of figuring things out as we go. Some people would argue that if you understand cause and effect, then you can understand what's currently happening in the moment and you can understand potential outcomes in the near future, in the long term future. With that being said, let's break down some advice as to what I think will happen. Eventually, Within the next couple of days, what I think will be either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, the developers will remove the Home Run Derby pack and the All-Star Game pack from the pack store. Now, the Home Run Derby pack was available on July 18th. The All-Star Game pack was available on July 19th for one less day than the Home Run Derby pack. I think the better investment is the All-Star Game players. But listen to what I'm saying for the remaining portion of of the video because this makes a significant difference in the choice pack players. Now we're about to get an all-star event on July 26th at 12 p.m. Pacific time, probably consisting of some of these all-star game players. As of this current moment, we don't have any clues for any of the rewards, but we can almost expect that they might release an all-star game player, a player that participated in the all-star game, or potentially a player that did not participate in the all-star game. Maybe someone like Mike Trout. Maybe someone like Trey Turner, right? That might be either one of these event rewards or we could see some all-star game players in the brand new ranked seasons as part of the World Series reward that would take place a couple hours later, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Now that will also affect the pool of players necessary in order to collect uh, for Jackie Robinson, right? As of right now, you need 44 out of the 45 available all-star game and home run derby cards. The reason why I say that is because you cannot collect Jackie Robinson for Jackie Robinson. If they release additional all-star game players, one in this event, two in the new world series, then there will be almost 50 all-star game players available, 49 of which you can collect for Jackie Robinson. That will affect the price of some of those investments that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. The pack rewards for this upcoming event is what is most important. Depending on if we get any event rewind packs, that will make a difference. I think we should at least get one, but I think they might replace this early event rewind pack with either an all-star game pack or a home run derby pack. If they don't include any all-star game packs and home run derby packs as a part of these event rewards and only event rewind and ball as a habit things that they've done already, then that will also affect the price of those home run derby cards in, and increase their price, right? At this point in time, when the event drops, I'm expecting that those packs will no longer be available in the pack store. I've invested in home run derby and all-star game players. I'll show you that in the second half of the video. Uh, but my plan is to sell these cards before the event is released, after the packs have been removed from the pack store. My thinking there is that those cards will tend to go up in price because they're not necessarily available. Then with this brand new event coming out, brand new ranked seasons coming out, they, we might see some packs included in that. We might see uh, some of the home run derby packs and all-star game packs included at the end of this event path. If the packs are at the beginning, the players in the base round will tend to stay at the quick sell value a little bit longer because people will be obtaining those packs faster and those cards will have dropped down significantly. If they're at the end of the program, we might see more of what we saw with the Miggy program and a flash sale type of reaction from the rare round players in those respective packs. Now, personally, I think this brand new event is only going to be available for, you know, four or five days because it's the all-star stuff. They're going to try and, you know, get back into the second half of the season. But right here, this is extremely important. If we have two of these packs, Home Run Derby Pack, All-Star Game Pack at 27 or 30 wins, 
then that makes a difference. If none of the packs are at the beginning and all of the packs are at the end, then that will make a, a bigger difference in the market, right? The timing will be different depending on where they put the packs. I'm trying to break it down in simplified terms, okay? But we might see the Home Run Derby pack as the second reward because in this All-Star program, the All-Star Game Choice pack was the final reward. They might flip-flop this, right? I don't know what the, the developers are going to do. They control all of this stuff. They controlled the fact that the cards for the Home Run Derby Rare Round didn't drop in price as much as I thought because they put that pack at the end, right? And we can expect these brand new rewards if we even get a new event reward. We don't have any clues yet. We don't know. If we get players, they're probably going to be at a 96, 97. The World Series rewards are probably going to be at a 98, right? And keep in mind that this Greg Maddox Takashi card is going to drop significantly in price. The Reggie Jackson might go up in price. Why? Because those two cards are going to be added into the Rewind pack. And people are most likely going to choose Greg Maddox because uh, they need him for the Babe Ruth collection and a potential second part to that collection. Now, what could you possibly do to make stubs with certain timing mechanisms based off of this cause and effect? I have invested in the middle tier round players for the home run derby cards because I didn't really see a fluctuation in price for these players. Now I have a risk here. I could end up losing a significant amount of stubs here. I am risking about seven or 8,000 stubs above quick sell value for each of these cards. I am definitely going to be keeping an eye out for when those packs are not available in the pack store because these cards have fluctuated in price. They've gone down, they've gone up, they have acted in a way of a flash sale. And that is because of the way they have implemented the packs. That's not on me. I I'm sorry if you lost stubs, but that is not necessarily my fault because I can't control some of this stuff. I tried to help everybody out in preparation and I think right now these all-star game choice pack players are the better investment. The, the middle tier round home run derby players might be a good investment, a little bit more risk there, but I think the base round all-star game players are the best cards to buy. And I have also purchased a lot of those, but the timing behind it makes a huge difference. If they add four brand new all-star game cards that you can collect for Jackie Robinson, that will make the rare round players for each of the home run derby and the all-star game choice pack almost insignificant. You, you will still want to use them, but you won't need them in order to lock in the 44 players for Jackie Robinson. Now, because of all of the XP we have recently received, these all-star game players have definitely dropped down in price. Now, not the cards from the pack. The pack cards are the ones you want to invest in, at least right now. Towards the end of the program, you want to flip that paradigm. You don't want to have these all-star game cards or extra of them because they will probably drop down. By the end of the program, we'll have more and more packs released. You'll want to flip your situation you'll want to buy the all-star game program players because you'll at least have to have a few more than the 18 that they give you in order to complete the collection. There are a lot of things you have to think about when making these decisions. I can't tell you exactly when the best time to sell these players will be, but I will say that I'm going to be monitoring when they take those packs out of the pack store and trying to time when I sell these extra cards right before the brand new event comes out with the brand new rank seasons a few hours after in preparation that some of these cards go down, right? I'm going to try and sell them at their peak and then buy them back when they go down. So that is my advice on how to prepare for July 26th. We see it right there, just two simple sentences that creates a cause and effect for the rest of the players in the entire game. That's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and uh, thank you for listening to my MLB The Show stub TED Talk, I guess. Peace out.